My name is Peter Timuro and I'm director of Dance Metro DC. We're an engagement and a service organization here in the, in the DC region and we're a branch of the national organization Dance USA. This whole flash mob phenomenon is uh, is taking the country by storm. Normally, with by storm, by storm. <laughs> with norm, it's our hurricane. With normal uh, people, as opposed to people like us, they do like one at a time. But we decided that for dance is the answer. We were going to do seven flash mobs over the course of two and a half weeks, and uh, I commissioned several choreographers to collaborate with each other. So there would be a sense of um, building almost like a pyramid. So two choreographers come together to build um, a uh, flash mob, the choreography, they put it online. And then they have four assistants who teach four more assistants each, who teach four more and they do live and online rehearsals. And so all of a sudden you have this kind of building out in a pyramid scheme, not unlike Bernie Madoff, but very different than Bernie Madoff at the same time. I, uh, I was really taken by seeing two, two videos of flash mobs that really moved me actually. One was um, the Sound of Music one that is famous uh, from the Brussels uh, flash mob, the Brussels train station. Really fun, really beautiful. They break out into song and dance in, in, the, in a crowd of thousands to do a deer, a female deer. And, they, and it's just like it accumulates in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. And the other one was very surprising. It takes place um, in an Italian market, very present day. I'm not sure which city in Italy, but it's an opera flash mob. And basically these, these little old ladies and men and, and, and people are about their shopping day and they're buying meat and provolone and, and all prosciutto. And all of a sudden this opera music comes on and these opera singers start singing at each other from across the, the courtyard in this market. And then more opera singers come. And the end of the dance, and I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it, and a little teary. At the end of the dance, it's pretty amazing because there, there's a little waltz in this opera scene that they pick to do. And, and the singers pick up these older women and these older gentlemen, and they start to waltz with them. And it's really moving because um, out of unsuspecting out of their day, this music, this poetry of life, and this dance affect them. And that's all we're trying to say with Dance is the Answer, basically, is that dance is a part of your life every day. And if we could get back to that place in, in, in memory before, uh, before you know, uh, puberty, before whatever took us off this idea that we could dance in the streets with, with, with free abandon, this would allow you to see the world in a different way. Dance is the Answer. Yeah. 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 Yeah.